My name is Liz Shanks, mom of two and children's book enthusiast. I would like to welcome you to Liz's Book Snuggery, which features Liz's Picks videos, where you will find some of the best reads in children's books. Read Aloud segments and Way Back Wednesday, where I dig up an essential classic from my library to share with all of you. So I invite you to please stop by lizsbooksnuggery.com. Our book today is Llama Llama and the Bully Goat by Anna Dudney. Every time you pick up the newspaper lately, there seems to be an article on bullying. So much so that in some states, bullying is required by law to be brought to the attention of teachers and guidance counselors so that it may be addressed. Question, how do you speak to the youngest of students about this issue, and how do we as parents know when teasing, which has been around since kids have been in school, crosses a line into bullying? One rule of thumb as regards bullying appears to be a pervasive behavior of one student towards another that is increasingly hostile and demeaning and goes on for a substantial period of time. How do you explain all of that to a five-year-old child? One simple place to start is with a picture book, since they have been very effectively used not just for entertainment for young readers, but also for education. Enter Anna Dudney and her terrifically successful and readable Llama Llama series. For our purposes and subject up for discussion, Llama Llama and the Bully Goat fits the bill. Llama Llama and classmates have gathered for circle time at school, and everyone's joining in the fun. Kitty, Rhino, Calf, Nellie New, and the crew are all singing away, mooing, bellowing, bawling, and braying. Gilroy Goat is the only fly in the ointment or song fest. Instead of singing along, he just points and bleats. He laughs at everything and everyone, and even crosses the no-no line into not-so-nice name-calling. Gilroy is called on his ungracious behavior by the teacher, and quick. In succession in the play yard, sand is kicked, dirt thrown, pushing starts, and Gilroy winds up tossing toys and sticks. Whoa, Nellie, wait just a minute, that is, and it might have been voiced by Ms. New, who is termed smelly by the bully goat. But these young animals have a strategy for dealing with the goat. They call him on it straight away, then walk away and tell someone, good plan kids. Gilroy is in for a lengthy time out from teacher and then a re-entry into the group if he can quote play nice. And seems Gilroy can be a goat who gets it for Llama and Gilly wave goodbye to each other at the end of the day as friends. Perhaps each bully goat your child meets will not be as pliant as Gilroy. But this is a great book that within the story has some simple strategies for dealing with the problem of a bully. And the best part of the book is it offers a way for the outsider to become an insider. And that is especially important in the school years when the group becomes all important. And maybe even after, if we're honest. Gilroy and Llama may not be fast friends forever, but they learned, as we all do, that sometimes life offers second chances and is lived a day at a time. Well done, Gilroy, and Llama Llama too, of course. I'm Liz Shanks, and thank you for joining us on this video from Liz's Book Snuggery. Our book today was Llama Llama and the Bully Goat by Anna Dudney. And remember, you are what you read, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Listen.